Hi, I'm Pete Elmhurst, Director of Partner Development here at Crown Plastics Company. And welcome to this week's edition of the Crown Advantage newsletter. You know, over the last couple years, I've had the opportunity to spend more time out in the field, getting face to face with them, some of your customers, and actually getting to hear about some of the problems that we are trying to solve. In most cases, these customers have never been to uh, had never been exposed to our product line before and it was very new and very exciting to them. We have run into situations where people have come across our products, tried them out and for some reason or other it didn't work. Now when I sat down with that customer and just asked him a few very simple questions, it was very obvious why the product may not have worked in an application and we were able to come back in with another product and solve the problem successfully. What I want to talk to you to do today briefly about is making sure that we're asking the right questions with the customer because it's important to remember this is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Okay, there might be an application where maybe they had looked at maybe trying an application with a rubber adhesive system but if it was outdoors we know that the rubber is not going to work well and we needed to really go with an acrylic adhesive system. Or maybe it was used in an application that was seeing some moisture and again they went with the rubber and the acrylic should have been used. By asking a few simple questions, we can eliminate some of these uh, missteps along the way and make sure that we can get the product, the correct product, in the hands of the customer the first time. Now, some of you may see these folders that we send with some of our product literature in it. One of the things we just wanted to make you aware of is on the bottom of uh, the folder here, uh, Avery Dennison actually had supplied us with some information about seven questions that we always ask the customer. Now, a few of the questions would be, number one, I'm making sure we identify the substrate. Because if it's a, a painted surface or it's a powder-coated painted surface, of course, those are two different substrates altogether. Whether it's steel, whether it's wood, uh, you know, a fiberglass, anything like that, making sure we identify the substrate because certain adhesives are designed to work with different substrates. Also, is this indoor or outdoor? There are certain adhesive systems that are going to provide better UV stability than other adhesive systems. And invariably, when we have seen product that may not have worked in the field, this is one of the big ones. People try taking a rubber adhesive and using it in an outdoor environment, and of course it didn't work. Another application is going to be elevated temperature. Is this going to be seeing some higher heat? Is it going to be in the back of a semi-tractor trailer for an extended period of time, or maybe outside of an, an oven? and a bakery line. See these are all questions that are going to have a significant impact not only on the material that we supply whether it's a UV stable UHMW or a natural it's going to have a very very big impact on the adhesive selection that we go with. So the one thing I encourage you to do is contact us if you don't have one of our folders here and if you'd like to get some of this information and we'd be happy to send this to you and uh, from then you can go ahead and read these questions and help educate yourself a little bit more so you can go and uh, make sure you're making the right suggestion to your customer. If you would like some of these feel free to call us at 800-368-0238 or feel free to email me at pete at crownplastics.com. Thank you very much.